Meghan Markle demanded her first husband sign a pregnancy contract ensuring he would pay for a personal trainer, nutritionist and nanny so she could stay in celebrity shape after having his baby. Meghan Markle made her first husband agree to a pregnancy contract to make sure she was afforded every possible luxury if she gave birth to their child, a close friend has revealed to Daily Mail. The then-rising actress was so concerned about the rigors of baby-making, and getting herself back in celebrity shape, that she demanded husband Trevor Ingelson pay for a personal trainer and a nutritionist to help her along if they conceived. The Duchess of Sussex also ironed out childcare details to ensure Ingelson was happy to pay for a nanny to help, a source told Daily Mail. The revelation comes just days after Meghan and Prince Harry revealed they were expecting their first child and gives a whole new meaning to the saying too posh to push. Daily Mail has reached out to Kensington Palace for comment. Pregnancy contracts are increasingly popular in the U.S., particularly in the Duchess' hometown of Los Angeles, although they tend to cover parental responsibilities after giving birth, such as the division of household duties and according to the insider Meghan was focused on making sure she did not lose her figure. At the time of the agreement, said to have been a couple of years after her 2011 wedding to producer Rengelson, Meghan was finally getting success with TV series Suits. It came up at a time when they were considering having a family, at some point in the near future, said the friend, who was once close to the Duchess. She knows the heavy-weighted body type runs in her family and has always been terrified of putting on extra pounds, particularly given her career at the time. Anytime she puts on a bit of weight, it shows on her face, so she wanted to make sure she would be camera-ready very quickly. She demanded a personal trainer and nutritionist during and after the pregnancy. I'm sure a nanny was discussed too, but the main focus for her was on health and weight. The friend added, Meghan may have only just joined the royal family, but she always wanted to be treated like a princess. The friend said that no lawyers were involved in the agreement with Meghan penning an informal document for her husband to sign. But the Duchess, 37, was deadly serious about the contract and Engelson had no choice but to agree. The friend said, she says she got him to sign something, maybe just a handwritten letter that she could hang over his head. You know what they say, happy wife happy life. He knew he married someone who was very concerned about her image, and at times very insecure about her body, so he just went along with it. She wouldn't have taken no for an answer and he knew it. But the end of her marriage came before they could take any of the plans forward. Long Island native Engelson, 42, and Meghan met in 2004 before she became famous on Suits and dated for six years before getting engaged in 2010. The former couple married in a beachfront ceremony at the Jamaica and in Jamaica in September, 2011 in front of 100 family and friends. But their relationship grew strained as Meghan left to film suits in Toronto, Canada, while Engelson stayed at their home in Los Angeles. The distance eventually took its toll and they separated in the summer of 2013. Their marriage officially ended in 2014 with irreconcilable differences cited in their divorce papers. Engelson, like Meghan, has since moved on and Daily Mail have revealed he married nutritionist Tracy Curland in a low-key ceremony in California earlier this month. Fortunately now that Meghan is part of the royal family, her image is already being carefully looked after, and she can expect every luxury imaginable. She loves to be pampered, so she will be as happy as can be I'm sure continued the friend. She has always wanted kids and a nuclear family structure, so she will be very excited about it. She is going to be beaming into motherhood. And to be able to have it all, to be a symbol of feminism and empowerment as well as motherhood and royalty at the same time, it is all that she could want. But Harry might still be in for a bumpy ride. Meghan likes to be in control, and her image is very important. So she could be a little scared and insecure about what's to come, said the friend. I hope he is ready to hold her hand and let her be the center of attention. Of course her own problems with her father are well documented, so she will be setting Harry some very high standards. She has essentially dismissed her father to be with him, so she will be expecting him to step up for sure. Meghan is currently in Fiji with Prince Harry, 34, on a royal tour. The royal father to be raised a toast at a state dinner Tuesday. During the cycling event at the Invictus Games in Sydney on Sunday he revealed he wants his first child to be a girl.